Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mordai J and we are locked in. This is Power Book 4 of Force. And we see that Diamond and his brother Jannard, CBI, they're going to have some problems on their hand. One thing we know about Power in any show that 50 Cent puts out, there's always got to be some kind of cop that we got to watch out for. And in this show, it's Officer Bennigan. But before we jump into this and we break down how CBI is going to have to move in these streets, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you're going to be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing you can do. Now, the two brothers, we know Diamond just got out of jail. So we're going to break down everything leading up to the part where Sheriff Bennigan comes in here and you can already tell that he's going to be bringing down hell on Diamond because that haircut that he has is not appropriate. I'm pretty sure that isn't in regs. So let's jump down. <laughs> Diamond and Jannard, the brothers and their problem with this new Sheriff Bennigan. We see Diamond just getting out of jail in the opening scene. When we see him, he's in here, he's cutting hair. He's a barber inside a prison. Now you gotta remember, he was the leader of CBI, Chicago's Brothers Incorporated. Now his brother, Jannard, he's on the outside and he's been running it. Since he's been in here, he has a little bit of beef with a guy named Rojos right here, this inmate. And he's talking about once Diamond gets out, we're gonna let him get comfortable and then we're gonna be on him. So while he's been in here for 15 years, he's been mentored by an older gentleman that's telling him, Diamond, when you get out of here and that door closes, do not come back to prison. You can do big things out there. Now, what the show is showing us is that Diamond is well respected. We know that he was the, the boss of CBI. He got 15 years in jail. Now, while he's in here, you see the guards, they even respect him. They said that he's one of the smartest men in the room. He always is one of the smartest. Now, he has a pair of J's and he decides to go ahead and leave it for the guard. He sells them to him actually for about $150. But before he leaves, the guards, since they respected him so much and know what he was about on the outside and on the inside, they actually give him a parting gift, which is a whole set of scissors and clippers so he can get ready when he gets out on the in the free world. Now, his brother, Jannard, this is his younger brother. He comes and picks him up. We can see the difference between the two. Diamond is more of a laid back guy. He's going to think things through. Jannard is more of that firecracker. When something goes down, he's ready for it at all times. Now, he sees that his brother Diamond doesn't have on shoes, so he's talking about, let me go back into prison. My dog is on the outside of jail trying to get inside because he thought somebody took his brother's shoes. But he's like, man, let's go, Diamond. Life is good out here. It's good that you, you know, you're out, you're free. So now he's about to show his brother Diamond how the world has changed since he's been in jail for 15 years. We know about the robbery that happened where Tommy pulled up and he took the gun from Vic and then he ended up taking Jannard and Vic's money and drugs. So while Jannard is out, he's telling his brother about everything that's going on in Chicago, how it's changed. These streets are different. These young wild boys, they're ready to start war at any time. Now you gotta remember, Diamond just got out and he was the head of CBI. Now his brother Jannard had took over, so he needs to be careful out here. But what he hears is his brother telling him a story about a white guy, Tommy, AKA Casper, a white guy that came in and was bold enough to mess with the Flynn family. Now, Diamond, I told you the difference between him and his brother, Jannard, he's calm and he laid back. He thinks things through. So he's hearing this story and he's thinking, who is this white guy? If he's bold enough to go at the Flynn's, we might need to bring him on to do everything that we're doing. Now, of course, he's not gonna be doing any hand to hand as far as right now because he just got out. So of course he's probably either on probation or there's gonna be a lot of eyes on him. Now you gotta understand when you've been in prison for as long as he has, you're kind of in institutionalized. So he's sitting here and he's just thinking things through like, damn, all right, hey, Jannard, we need to put a play in, in, in motion so we can find out who this white guy is. Plus we gotta get that money back and whatever little drugs you had ASAP. Not only is Jannard and Diamond trying to find out who this white guy, aka Tommy Casper the Ghost is, we've seen Tommy did some investigating himself on who the CBI was because he heard Jannard talking about it during the little, you know, saying robbery that he pulled on him off. Head of CBI sentenced to 15 years. Now this is talking about Diamond. Now this is where things get interesting. Jannard takes his brother Diamond to a barber shop. It turns out he actually bought this, legit. Taxes paid for, it's in his brother's name. It's 100% clean, ready to go. They just need to open it up in a couple of days. Now, what I'm seeing with this barbershop, they might use it as a little front for any kind of laundering of drug money. Whatever they're gonna be doing, this will pretty much be their headquarters here. So Jannar, he's looking out for his brother because you know he probably left him some money before he went to jail. And of course, we just seen Jannard 
he picked his brother up and what did diamond get he got a whole starter kit to start cutting hair within here so at least when it comes to the police he'll look legit now this is what brings us into sheriff bennekin he's about to show up to the shop but we don't know that he's a cop until he flashes his badge sheriff bennekin shows up and he's talking about man i love this shop so that's either one or two things a he seen when Jannar bought this he read up on it okay Jannar, he's buying a barbershop let me look into this or he's been following diamond since he got out of jail so when he gets up here he flashes his badge and this is when we find out that he's a cop instantly once we all seen that badge we knew it's going to be big trouble with him and he's a brother with a messed up haircut so we know he's going to do his job as hard as possible now there's a possibility that he could be a little cricket but me i'm thinking he's going to be a legit cop but he's just going to be an overworker harassing them every chance he can trying to jam them up now mind you this barbershop is legit right now so diamond he's telling them all right well you come back in a couple of days we'll cut your hair and the first one's on me now he's just playing it cool because he's a you know saying he sees he's a cop and you know it's like man all right let me make a good impression i just been out of jail for one day but ben again he kind of throws some shade and says oh no anything i get i work for it i pay you know saying i pay for it so that right there shows me that Bennigan is about to be a complete asshole when it comes to Diamond and his brother Jannar, especially with his ties of being CBI. Now, they haven't said anything if he's disconnected himself from CBI, but since that's his brother, I'm sure he's still in it. And he just hasn't took over the head position yet, but it doesn't matter because Sheriff Bennigan, you hear him, he say, clean me up. You know what I'm saying? That's a hint. Like, you better be clean in these streets or I'm going to be on you. He's going to be harassing them all the time. I can already see Diamond coming out one night, him sitting by the wall, smoking a cigarette. Yeah, Diamond, you're here a little late. So we need to watch Ben again. I'm telling you, he's going to be a huge problem, especially we see that Diamond's already going to be partnering up with Tommy. Tommy, he doesn't care about the law, but Diamond, he's trying to be low key. So we need to see how this is going to work between him and Tommy with this damn sheriff on him. All right, there you go. CBI versus Sheriff Bennigan. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. Do you think that they're going to be able to function correctly? And is Sheriff Bennigan, is he crooked? Or is he just a cop that just takes his job too seriously? You know in power, that's how the cops are. They're either working overtime, they bring you down, or they're straight down the book, and they're not going to stop till they get you. Let me know what you guys think about Sheriff Bennigan and how Diamond is going to work with him. I'm ModiJ. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.